Good evening, everyone. Before I start this video, I just want to point out that this is the best case scenario for the Republican Party, specifically Donald Trump, in the 2024 election. This is by no means a real prediction. I do not think that Trump would do this well as of right now. But anyway, let's get into this video. It is now 7 p.m. and we have poll closings in Vermont, Virginia, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, and Georgia. In Vermont, with 1%, and Joe Biden is the projected winner. Indiana will go to Donald Trump instead of a Republican hold. Kentucky will also go to Donald Trump. South Carolina will also go to Donald Trump. But in Virginia, it is too close to call 3% and it, it went Democratic in 2020. And in Georgia, swing state, too close to call, too early to call, sorry. This puts Trump at 28 electoral votes to Biden's 329 or too close to call. And, we have, and it is now 730 and we have poll closings in Ohio, West Virginia, North Carolina. In West Virginia, Donald Trump will win, and in Ohio, it is too early to call this was a Trump stay in 2020. And in North Carolina, with 4% in, it went Republican in 2020, but it is too early to call. And that puts uh, uh, Trump at 32, Biden at 3, and 62, close, too close to call. It is now uh, 8 p.m., and we have poll closings in Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, Illinois, Missouri, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. In Maine's first district, Joe Biden will win, uh, but Maine's at-large vote is too close to call, and Maine's second is also too, too close to call. New Hampshire is too early to call, and Connecticut, surprisingly, is too close to call. Um, Biden is very unpopular nationwide, and it is hurting him in the state of Connecticut. But in Massachusetts, it will go to Joe Biden. But in Rhode Island, like Connecticut, is too early to call, but a very Democratic state, along with New Jersey. And in Pennsylvania, swing state with 4% in, it is too early to call it. This went to Biden in 2020. And Maryland will go to Joe Biden, along with his home state of Delaware and Washington, D.C. And Illinois with 16% in, Joe Biden will win. And in Missouri with 1% in, it will go to Donald Trump, along with the state of Oklahoma and the state of Tennessee and the state of Alabama and the state of Mississippi. But in Florida with 9% in, it is too early to call it. This did go Republican in 2020. And that puts Biden at 50, Trump at 74, 143 are too close to call. We have a curious alert in Virginia. Donald Trump will carry the state of Virginia. This is a Republican flip. Joe Biden is underperforming here like crazy. Um, underperforming the Senate, governor, but uh, House candidates, he will carry the state of Virginia. And he will also carry the state of Ohio. This is a Republican hold. He will also carry Maine's second district with 99% in. And it is now 8.30 and we have a poll closing in Arkansas. Donald Trump will carry the state of Arkansas, and that puts Trump at 110, uh, Biden at 50, and 113 are too close to call. And it's now 9 p.m., and we have poll closings in New York, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, North and South Dakota, Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, and Louisiana. In New York, with 15% in, Joe Biden is the projected winner. And in Michigan, with 7% in, it is too early to call this to go Democratic in 2020. And in Wisconsin, with 5% in, it is too early to call this to go to Biden in 2020. And in Minnesota, with 5% in, it is too early to call this went heavily for Biden in 2020. But in North Dakota, uh, Donald Trump will hold on to the state along with South Dakota. And Wyoming, right next door, with 1% in, Donald Trump is the projected winner. And Nebraska's 3rd District. In Nebraska's 1st District, and Nebraska's at-large vote, and, but Nebraska's 2nd District is too early to call this is a swing district. And in Kansas, with 6% in, Donald Trump is a projected winner, this is a Republican hold. And in Colorado, with 2% in, it is too early to call this to, this state to go to Biden in 2020. And in New Mexico, with 5% in, this is also too early to call one Democratic in 2020. And Arizona also did narrowly go Democratic in 2020. 12% in is too early to call, too close to call, actually. In Texas, with 4% in, we can now project that Donald Trump will carry the state. This will not be a too close to call state. And in Louisiana, with 11% in, Donald Trump will once again carry the state. And we have a QA slow in Florida. In Florida, with 90% in, Donald Trump will once again carry the state. And that puts Trump at 209 electoral votes to Biden, 77, um, 113. Sorry, no, there's more than 113 that are too close to call. It is now 10 p.m., and we have poll closings in Nevada, Utah, Montana, and Iowa. In Utah, with 6% in, Donald Trump is the projected winner. In Montana, with 4% in, Donald Trump is the projected winner. In Iowa, with 4% in, Donald Trump will once again carry the state. Uh, but in Nevada, with 6% in, it is too early to call this to go Democratic in 2020. And that puts Biden at 77 electoral votes to, 
and Trump at 225. And now it's 11, and we have poll closings in Idaho, Washington, Oregon, California, and Hawaii. In Idaho, 7%, and Donald Trump is the projected winner. But in California, a big prize, 3%, and Joe Biden will carry the 54 electoral votes, along with Oregon and Washington and Hawaii. And now that puts him at 156 to Trump's 229. This, this just got a whole lot closer, still in Donald Trump's favor. And we have Key Wrestler in New Hampshire. New Hampshire will go to Donald Trump. This is a huge Republican flip. And now Trump is 234. And now it's 1 a.m. and we have poll closing in Alaska. Donald Trump will carry the state of Alaska. And we have key race alerts in Nevada and Arizona. In Nevada with 100% in, Donald Trump will flip the state. He's the projected winner here, along with the state of Arizona with 99% in. And that puts him at 255, Biden at 156, 127, are too close to call. And we have key race alerts in Georgia and Nebraska second. In Georgia, 98% in, Donald Trump will flip the state and carry the state of Georgia. And he has been elected for a second term as president of the United States. This is a Republican flip. He will unseat incumbent Joe Biden. 99% of all votes are in, and he has been elected president. And in Nebraska's second district, doesn't matter, but he will also flip Nebraska's second one electoral vote here. And that puts him at 272 to Biden's 156, 110, or too close to call. And we have QA slurs in North Carolina and Michigan. In North Carolina, 98% in, Donald Trump will carry the state. And in Michigan, he will also flip the state of Michigan. Now he has 303. And we have QA loads in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, with 99% in, Donald Trump will flip the state. This did go to Biden nearly in 2020, but he will carry the state of Pennsylvania. And in Wisconsin, with 99% in, Donald Trump is the projected winner. This is another flip from 2020. And now that puts him at 332 to Biden's 156 and 50 are too close to call. And we have QA slurs, sorry to disregard that. But anyway, it's one day later, and in Rhode Island, we can now project 99% of the votes in. Donald Trump will carry the heavily Democratic state of Rhode Island. This is a Republican flip. And in Connecticut, uh, Joe Biden will narrowly hang on to the state. This, sorry, says 2% in. Should be like 100% in. He will just narrowly carry it. But in New Jersey, Donald Trump will also win here. Like in Rhode Island, a heavily Democratic state, he will carry. And in Minnesota, he will also carry the state. This is another Republican flip. And in Colorado, 99% in, he will carry the state. Along with New Mexico, this is another flip. And Maine's at-large vote will go to Donald Trump. And now we have our final map. Uh, Trump has won the presidency with 375 electoral votes to Joe Biden's. 163, only 270 are too close to call. Trump has won a bunch. So, thank you all for watching this video. Again, this is unrealistic. But anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you all later.